Well, hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Kamek. I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to sign in to your Google Chrome account at home. We do it all the time when we use our Chromebooks at school, but when you're at home, there's some extra steps. Now, after you log into your Google Chrome at home, I also want you to go to Google Classroom. So um, we're going to be doing that all together right now. Okay, you have to go to the Google page and over here in the right hand corner, there has to be no one else's um, initials or anyone's name there. You don't want to be in anybody else's account. You're going to be signing into your own account. So either it has to be blank there or you can add your account to, let's say if you're using your parent's computer to do your work. So, um, so just make sure that you're not in somebody else's account. That's what's most important. So I'm going to sign in and I am using one of our students because I wanted you to see what this whole experience was like from a student's perspective. So I asked permission. And so I'm signing into Viana Herrera's account. So remember when we logged into Chrome, to our Chromebooks, we put in our last name and our first initial and the last four digits of our school ID. So this is Viana's. Now don't get all excited because you're like, now I know Viana's um, email address and I can send her all sorts of spam. No, you can't because it is, it is an email account, but it's an educational email account. It is not a regular email account. So you're not, uh, it won't even work to send an email to and from. So you can't receive emails and you cannot um, send emails. So sorry. Now, now before, when we put the, our last name, first initial, and four digits in, remember over here, way over in the side, we probably didn't even notice it, but it said at lmsvsd.net. Well, now you have to add that because you're home. So at lmsvsd.net and click the next. And so now you're in the school portal. And so you have to put your name in again, just like you did before. So last name first initial, last four digits. Now, if you forgot your four digits, it's been a while, right? So don't worry, just email me and I'll give them to you easy peasy at lmsvsd.net. And your password is your birthday. So one or two digits for month, two digits for day, and you were either born in 09 or 10. And then don't forget the magic X and then submit. Now, once you're in this page, you're gonna click on the Google Apps for Student because we're gonna be using Google Classroom, which is an app. And look, it's a thing of beauty. There it is, a circle with the V on it for Viana. Can you hear my trash trucks? And this thing right here, which recently I've heard described as the waffle, so that's kind of interesting. I like it. So you're gonna click on the waffle and you're going to look for Google Classroom. Well, that's really easy on Vion is it's right at the top. But sometimes you have to scroll down and find it somewhere down here. And it uh, on Vion is it's also at the bottom. But you want to click on Google Classroom. And I'm going to show you how to log into your Google Classroom account. But sometimes on an iPad, you have to add it as an app. So you have to go to the App Store and, and put it on there or your tablet. So go to whatever... Uh, you know, Google Play or App Store, whatever you have for your tablet, and you have to add the app for it. So I'm going to click on Classroom. Now, if you used Google Classroom in another class or last year in third or in second grade, you would have your classrooms on this page right here. But um, Vion hasn't, and most of you probably haven't, and I didn't use it this year. But what I want you to do now though, so you're at this page, so even if you have used it before, you're still going to do this same process. You're going to come up here where it says join your first class. Even if you have a class though, you're still going to join a class. So you're going to click on the plus sign and it says join class. Ask your teacher for the class code, then enter it here. Now, your class code is different if you're in A core, B core, or C core. Viana is in B core, so here's B core's code. So all of you that are in B core are going to put in the same code. It's B P A O R F I. It's just a random code that was generated. And it says join. So now it takes a second. There she is. It says 
Oh, look, create posts, share information and questions with your class. Oh, that's really cute. Well, we'll have to be, we're kind of figuring this all out together, boys and girls, because it's the first time I've ever used it. And some of the controls, as far as being able to let you respond to each other, being able to let you edit things, I'll be learning that right along with you. Okay, so I'm gonna put got it. So up here at the very top, it says Mrs. Kamak's class fourth grade core B. The stream, so this is the front page. It has a letter from me. It tells you what assignments are due. It's just kind of like the, a page with things on it for you to see. But classwork is really important. So I'm gonna click on classwork. See a list of your work in its current status. Cool, okay. View your work. So these are things that I have put on for Monday. Um, and so this one is a question. Since you, you click on it, and then it says view question. Since you are either 10 years old or very close to being 10, what advice would you give your kindergarten self? What have you learned in your 10 years that you wish you would have known in kindergarten? And you're gonna come over here to um, where it says your answer and that little green little thing there says assigned right there. You're gonna go right over there and you are going to type your answer in here. So. In my 10 years, I have learned dot, 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 dot. And look what happens is the more you write, all this stuff comes in. And so the more you write, the, the longer the box will be. And then you can just click turned in when you are done. Pretty cool, huh? So um, then this part right down here, it says private comments and class comments. I'm not sure exactly what that does yet. Some of you might have parents that use this all the time and they know, I don't know yet, but just remember whatever you write there, I can see. So make sure whatever you write is kind and appropriate. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and this part down here, reading from the Wonders Literature Anthology. So when you click on it, it tells you what to do. Then there's a link where you can, so you don't have to go into Connect Ed. It'll go there for you except for Wait, but it says redirecting in five seconds. You're going to have to put in your um, username and password, which if you remember, I'm just, I'm not gonna write Viana's in because you'll have the key to her world, but you're gonna write in your ID number, entire, your entire ID plus the little word go. And then your password, remember, is your birthday with an X. Birthday with an X, it doesn't even show up, so why am I typing it? So you're gonna be writing those things in there, and then when you press log in, boom, all of a sudden you're in Connected and you can look at the literature anthology. Isn't that cool? And then I will be attaching the worksheet for you to do. Um, there is a way that I can screenshot it and turn it into an editable um, work for you, although I feel like at this point, um, that it was blurry and it wasn't working very well. And so I'm just gonna attach it. You can print it out and work on it, or you can just write your answers on a separate piece of paper. We'll figure it out. But I just wanted to give you the basic overview of how to log in, what the Google Classroom really looks like, and, um, and you're gonna be going there and every day I'll just put the new stuff you're gonna be doing and you just turn it into me. And it's a good way for me to keep track of what you guys are doing and makes it a little simpler so you don't have to go all over the place and log in everywhere. All right, okay, um, that's it for today. I'm sure I'll be making another like really awesome video for you guys. Watch, I don't even know how to turn it off without like, yeah, there you go. Okay, see you, bye.